My name is Timothy Reed. I'm the joint PVC of Methodology and Technology at UNED in Spain. I'd like to talk to you about our UNED Virtual Exam Management System, or VEMS. As you can see from the, the data on this slide, um, last year alone we handled almost 640,000 exams. And you can see the different uh, way in which these exams were, were handled from our teaching staff, students, and the actual number of uh, automatic tests that were automatically corrected by our system. Now, even though we use different forms of um, online continuous evaluation with our students and also in face-to-face in -face, uh, regional study centers, the exams are still the angular stone of the way we evaluate our, our students. Historically, we did this perhaps 10 years ago by preparing exams, the teaching staff, by photocopying them, putting them into metal tins, and then distributing them in small lorries and vans to the regional study centers where the exams actually took place. Once the exams were over, the answers produced by the students were put back into the, the metal boxes, brought back to Madrid, and then distributed to the teaching staff who actually undertook the correction of these exams. As you can probably imagine, the logistics of this operation was uh, complicated, to put it mildly. So we decided some time ago to work on an online system, this virtual exam management system, and it's made up of different components which have different roles, which I'll talk about now. This is a, a development that's been undertaken basically by two parts of the UNED, our um, innovation centre of the UNED in Barrastro and also our technological centre here in Madrid. So. If you want to get a, a ballpark figure of uh, the way this system works, you can see it's made of six phases. Um, we've got three of them on this particular slide, and then I'll go on to talk about the others afterwards. So in phase one, at the top of the screen, you can see that the teaching staff actually prepare their exams in a word processor. And then they, um, using our, the UNED um, identity card, they actually log on to our system, our centralized management system, and the system actually encrypts these exams using a public key encryption system, and they're stored on the central server. Now, when we get to the um, exam period, and there's three exam periods in the UNED um, yearly calendar, one in February, February, one in June, and one in September, then these exams are distributed in real time to computers in just inside or just outside the exam rooms in the regional study centers, and they're decrypted right before the exam actually starts. Now you can see in phase two, there's two ways we can actually do this. We can um, decrypt and print out so that the students can actually have their exams on paper, or for the, for the case of uh, students with special needs, um, with visual problems, for example, we can decrypt and put them onto the, sc the uh, computer screen so that they can use a voice reader to read the exams out to them. I'll talk a little more about this, um, the way that the exam sessions are managed in a while, but essentially that's um, how the students are given their exams and told where to sit in their room. In phase three, once a student finishes their exams, um, we take them back in in paper, we check their um, information, their, their data is correct on the exams, then pass them through a high-speed scanner where the exams are digitalized and returned online back to Madrid for correction by the teaching staff. So, um, as well as actually giving the students the exams we're undertaking in the, in the exam rooms, one of the uh, functions it does as well, apart from checking the identity of the students, is telling them where to sit in the room, because obviously if we have two students doing the same exam, we don't want them sat nearby. And during the exam, the system will automatically tell us how much time a student has left to uh, finish the exam. And when the student gives the exam back, we can actually log the fact they've handed it in so we have no um, problems of the exams getting lost um, as they return back to Madrid. So the fourth phase of VEMS is actually the correction of these exams, because if we have all these exams in digital format, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have to print them all back out again in Madrid for their correction. So there's different ways this can be done. What you can see on the screen here is the correction tool, which the teachers can use to actually correct in line, attach comments, underline things in, in red, etc. And also to the, the right at the bottom of the slide, you can see the same tool being used on a tablet, PC or, or, um, or mobile device, so that the teachers can really correct wherever they want to. And of course, all the uh, comments put on the exams can actually be seen by the, the students. So the fifth phase is that once the uh, teaching staff have actually undertaken this correction, then they can actually put this back into the overall um, grading system of the, of the unit. And there's different ways this can be done. It can be done manually, 
uh, a teacher can actually type in the particular grades they want to um, associate with a particular examining session. They can do it semi-automatically or they can do it fully automatically by importing uh, files with the data in it. And uh, on the, the right hand side of the slide you can see the LMS continuum assessment um, importation function because it's very common these days for our subjects to have to have hybrid exams where you have some face-to-face -face sessions at the regional study centres combined with um, practical or applied activities um, corrected by our, our uh, tutors at the study centres, the results of which are then imported automatically to be included in the overall grade of the, uh, of the exam for the student. Final phase, of course, is notifying the student that um, the exams have been corrected and the particular grade they've got. There are several ways this can happen. The student connect to their online portal, their web portal from any computer and check their grades. They can receive a, a text message which is still quite popular or we have, um, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, um, an app which um, they can use to get access to a whole lot of information about their, their subjects. Uh, if tutors are going to be available in the centres, if there's a, the, date, the deadlines for particular pieces of work and also not only the grades for the exam but if they actually include tests, um, the particular correction template that's been used to correct their exams. Now there's many uh, different advantages that, that this system has for us, uh, apart from the obvious ones of the logistics of moving uh, exams around from centre to centre, and one of which, um, which may not be immediately obvious, which I'd like to uh, point out here, is the role in the, ana the analytics we can carry out upon this data to help us to predict the exam attendance, because obviously our regional study centres have um, limits to the number of people who can actually be there to do the exams, and what we can do from a session to session uh, basis over the particular periods of the year and also from year to year is actually analyze this data which actually enables us to predict how many uh, students are going to go to a particular session and how many teaching staff we need to have there and tutors present to actually manage these uh, sessions. So some concluding ideas. As I said at the beginning, face-to-face -face exams are still important. We complement them with uh, online and continuous assessment, but they will, they will continue to be important for the foreseeable future. Um, we place a lot of emphasis in this particular system, as in others, in dogfooding our own technological innovation and development to solve our particular problems. That doesn't mean we don't use um, external software, but given the, the logistics of the UNED, then pretty, it's pretty typical that we need solutions ad hoc. Also, this type of technology enables us to give a higher quality service to our students. We're not just talking about the exams in the, the central study centres, but also the possibility of undertaking exams where previously they weren't actually possible for students or for one reason or another aren't actually able to go along to our study centres. And from the student's point of view, this kind of system and the data that's behind it, um, it provides them a way to access all the information. Once the exam, a particular exam period is over, a student can go online, they can access their, um, the exam they did, they can see the answers they gave to the exams, and also interact with colleagues and talk about their uh, experiences of this particular test. And also, what is key for us at the moment is the idea of analytics, and that will help us to take our decisions in the future based upon the information we have. Thank you.